Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Sophie and today is the first video in my like Vlogmas series, I guess. I'm doing um, part on this channel and part on my vlog channel and it's going to be like different days on different channels and I'm basically uploading every day up till Christmas day. So from now, um, this is the first video. So I'm very excited and um, the schedule that I prepared um, for this week has already not scheduled. <laughs> it's already gone wrong. Um, so we're gonna do something else today. And that something else is looking at my Spotify unwrapped. Now, I'm very excited. I'm very nervous. It's been all over my social media for the last almost 24 hours. I'm, I'm filming this at my lunch break on Thursday and this is going up on Friday and I think Spotify came out, Unwrapped came out Wednesday afternoon-ish. So um, it's already been everywhere. And yeah, la the one thing I really remember from last year is that I was in the top 0.5% of Taylor Swift listeners. <laughs> That was my claim to fame last year. So I want to see if I've maintained that, if I've improved or if I've been out, out, out listened um, by other people. So let's find my wrapped 2023. Let me turn the volume down so I don't get a copyright strike. And let's do it. Okay, 2023 unwrapped. Hello, Sophie. It's wrap time. Ready? Let's do this. 2023 was a feast for your ears. You listened to 17 genres. How did your tastes stack up? Ooh, it's like a sandwich. <laughs> you can't see. It's like a sandwich. My top genres are pop movie tunes, soundtrack, show tunes, and contemporary country. Is that Taylor? Because what else would I have done that with? I don't know. This year your listening took you places and one place listened just like you. <gasps> what? So it's showing you the location of people who have similar in musical interests to you. There's a place called Provo. Can you see this? Provo USA. Um, and it says people there are far more likely to be fans of Taylor Swift Dario Maranelli and Patrick Doyle, who are both people on my instrumental playlist. Um, both composers, I think. So yeah. <laughs> it's getting weird already. I love doing this. It's my favourite day of the year. No, I'm joking. You played 736 songs in 2023. And there was one that really connected. Your top song was Getaway Car by Taylor Swift. You played it 53 times this year, starting on January 3rd, and it still sounds perfect. Getaway Car, really? Out of all the songs, I wouldn't have thought that, but you know what? What a song. What a song. Let's carry on. But you had room in your heart for more than one favorite. You romantic, you. This is so weird. Your top songs. <laughs> it's all Taylor Swift. <laughs> it's all Taylor's face. Um, um, so, Getaway Car, Lavender Haze, Cruel Summer, Paris, and Karma. I thought Karma was going to be my top. I said this to mum, but because there's two versions of Karma, there's Karma and there's Karma with Ice Spice, I think that's why it's not number one. But um, yeah, three of those Midnights, which is interesting. Cruel Summer and Getaway Car aren't that surprising really, are they? Here's a playlist of all the songs you've loved. I've added it to my library, so we can look at that later. You listened for 19,034 minutes. That's 13 days non-stop. I think I listened more last year. Um, you peaked on October 12th at 30, 394 minutes. What was I doing October 12th? You're in the top 20% of listeners worldwide. Nice. <laughs> you listened to 397 artists this year, but one came out on top. Any guesses? Hmm. <laughs> Say hello to your top artist, Taylor Swift. You're a top 0.5% fan. I'm exactly the same again as I was last year. 
and he spent 12,691 minutes together in my Swifty era. I love that. You couldn't get enough of a getaway car. You had something special with your top artists. Taylor Swift, peak listening month March. Craig Armstrong, peak listening month October. He does the soundtrack for Love Actually, I believe. Dario Marianelli, October. Again, I think that was Pride and Prejudice. One Republic, March. One Republic? How bizarre. Oh, Jean-Yves Fibodet? Fibodet? Also Pride and Prejudice. One Republic is so random. I guess they did that song for Top Gun. Um, and then, like, I really like, like, Stop and Stare and stuff like that. Like, the older songs. But I am confused um, by this. Oh my god, Taylor's here. Just saying thank you for us listening to her, I think. I will have to go through this again because I can't actually listen to the message right now in case there's music on it. Oh, bless her. One moment, please. We're turning off the lights. Why? That's better. The way you listen to this year makes you a hero. Or should we say anti-hero? Vampire. When it comes to your listening, you like to embrace a little darkness. You listen to emotional, atmospheric music more than most. I'm a vampire. Okay. <laughs> vampire. <laughs> that was fun. Same time next year. Oh, and then it's given me a little, a little kind of overall... You're overwrapped for the year. So let me share this. Let's save this. And yeah, thank you so much for joining me whilst I did this. Um, I hope this little short video of me doing my unwrapped is okay for day one. Um, as I said, what I had planned has gone wrong. So <laughs> we can't do that. But um, I will be vlogging from tomorrow. Um, so when you're watching this, well, when this goes up on the Friday, there will be a new vlog Saturday evening so make sure you're subscribed over on the vlog channel as well so you don't miss that and yeah thank you so much for watching this I know it's probably not the most interesting but I find it really like exciting and interesting um going through my unwrapped I just find it like such a great feature and it's why I'm like so obsessed with Spotify that I know at the end of the year I'm always gonna get <laughs> this little um yeah this little unwrapped session so yeah um thank you so much again for watching and i will see you again soon for another video bye <laughs>